Robert Farrell here. Hey, I've been teaching W Illustrator here in New York City since 1987, 33 years. I started when I was 28 years old. If there's a better way to work smart with Adobe Illustrator, click this banner ad, go to my website and get my free top 10 production techniques. This will make a complete better power user out of you. I get you to think the way the software thinks. Click the banner ad, go to my website, think illustrator.com and get a free top 10 production techniques now watch this okay so what i'm going to do is create a flower design a very simple way using adobe illustrator i'm in essentials i suggest you do the same thing hit the l key i'm going to create a ellipse from the center and what i want to do is hit shift c on both macintosh and windows and i'm going to basically make this a pointed leaf Next, anything about the object is under the object menu based on these choices. I'm going to create a gradient mesh and hit OK. Now, I don't like to see these anchor points, so Command H, Control H, I'm going to hide the anchor points for a second. Now, I'm going to select, select it, go to the effects menu, go to transform and transform. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to rotate from the bottom area and I'm going to have, say, nine of these. So what I can do is I can say 360 divided by 9. Now pay close attention because I want to have 9 total, which means I need to have 8 copies. So if I hit OK, there is my shape. Holding down the space bar, grab the page, move the page. Now I can make further adjustments on this. I can hit the S key for scale, scale this down, shift tab backwards of 50%. Now here's the really cool part. I'm going to move this into place for a second. So now I'm going to actually scale this down a little bit more so it fits on the screen a little bit better, 55%. Now watch this. This is really cool. If I go to my rotation tool, pick a point to rotate from and rotate around. As I rotate, hold down the Option key or Alt key for Windows to make a clone copy, the Shift key, and then anything about the object is under the Object menu. Based on these choices, Object Transform. Transform is anything that falls under this category including cloning by holding down the Option or Alt key for Windows. I can repeat that by hitting Command D for Duplicate. And I can duplicate, 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 duplicate. Now, how can I shift the colors of this? What I mean by that is if you simply select this and I change the color, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to get basically a solid color of the whole thing. And I would get something that looks like this, and that's not what I want to do. I want to keep the integrity of the gradient. So I'm going to undo that Command Z, and then I will go up to my Edit menu. And based on these choices, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. Now what I want to do is hit Edit and lock all the colors into place. So I click right here, and now I can power shift the colors to different settings. Okay, now I'm going to undo this a few times. Command Z. Now, if I was basically to take this object, I do a lot of cool things with this object. So I'm going to zoom in, spacebar, command, spacebar, and zoom in here, grab the page, move the page. So I'm now going to basically, with my direct selection tool selected, holding down the command key at any time, will turn my regular tool. Now, I start out every document by hitting the A key, which will select my direct selection tool. From that point on, no matter what tool I'm in, I can get back to the direction selection tool by holding down the command key. Space bar, grab the page, move the page. So watch this. I'm going to select this part of the area. Command H, let's unhide the edges again. I'm going to select the top part as well. So I have this selected, and I'm going to select this area as well. I'm going to hit the I the edges again, Command H. So now I'm going to go to my Scale tool, hit the Return key, and I just want to scale this horizontally 120% and nothing vertically, so I put in 100%. So I get something like this happen. It makes it look a little bit more organic. And if I want to repeat that transformation, Command D, Command D, Command D. And that's how I could basically make instant artwork with Adobe Illustrator. So click the banner ad, go check out the rest of my power techniques, and share with you how to work smart finally using Adobe Illustrator the right way. Like I said, I've been using Adobe Illustrator for 33 years. I see a lot of mistakes and a lot of bad directions on YouTube. If you want to learn how to work the right way, work smart, outpace your competitors, 
get that graphic design job that you couldn't get. When you sit down and wow them with your techniques, you'll be way ahead of the game. Thanks for being here. Stay home, stay safe, and stay positive. Thinkillustrator.com, hashtag Thinkillustrator. My name's Robert Farrell, Carpe Diem 2020.